Hey guys, while we're out in my garage, I'm a little overdue for another video. I've just uh, been really busy uh, trying to get inventory for my website. Um, bid on a few big jobs, so that uh, took time to source some things out and get some pricing. And uh, one of the potential customers wants a, a sample, so I didn't have anything that would fit the bill as far as the sample goes. So um, <clears throat> they're looking for... Sorry, I just had uh, lunch. They're looking for an end grain uh, cutting board maple and uh, about two feet by three feet. And it's gonna sit inside a cart and it's gonna have some heat lamps and lights for when they're um, cutting up and serving, say roast beef or prime rib, that uh, they can have this cart and roll it around a little bit or get it at least set up where they want it so they can carve. And uh, they want end grain and it has to be maple. So I've been working on that. I've just got a small board right down here. I made up two of them. So uh, one will be on my website right away as soon as it's done. The other one will go down. Probably, I don't imagine I'll get it back right away if I get it back at all. But uh, that's all right. That's a pretty uh, big potential job. <clears throat> so it'd be really nice to get into the working with them. They're a big... They're one of the biggest conference centers in Toronto. They have uh, a big dining hall and, uh, and everything. So that would be pretty sweet to do that. So we've been working on that. Like I said, I've been working on uh, lots of stock stuff. So lots of cutting boards. I think I got uh, 12 cutting boards in stock. There's another one right here that uh, I've sanded up to 120. I sand them up to uh, 220 so we've been doing that um, yeah lots of lots of work as far as that goes so I think I've got uh, 12 boards on my website now some walnut ones some cherry ones uh, maple some walnut and then uh, I've been starting to do some serving boards so like cheese boards and that sort of stuff so I've got uh, I made one out of a piece of scrap. It turned out really nice, so I'm giving it away as a gift to uh, someone. And then uh, right now, if you buy a cutting board, I'll do uh, free shipping. And the first six people to buy a board will get uh, their name entered into a draw, and I'll include one of those uh, serving boards. So kind of a bit of a promo, but um, help out anyways. So I'll just show you around. I don't have anything too fancy. Um, probably most of it people already have in their garage. For the most part, maybe uh, a couple things, but uh, let's uh, just have a look. So this is my miter saw. It's just a DeWalt 10 inch. It's uh, not the sliding, although I wish it was. I bought this probably 11 years ago, I think, when I moved into the house. It was one of the first kind of bigger to woodworking tools that I bought. Um, I don't use it a lot. I use it for breaking down rough rough uh, goods, rough materials into something smaller so that I can work them a little easier. <clears throat> this is just a rigid, let me see if I can get around to the front. Just a rigid um, portable table saw. I've got a uh, sled on it. So that I can uh, cross cut stuff a lot easier than using a miter saw. You can see I've just got a stop block set up for uh, those cutting boards. So that all the uh, all these pieces here are basically the same, same height. Easier to do it there. So just a simple sled. Use some nice uh, birch plywood. It's really durable. It's nice and flat. It makes a big difference when you're making uh, jigs and um, and utility items like this. So big, uh, big plus. And you can see there's a lot of writing on it. Maybe that's uh, just a bunch of math trying to make sure that my fence and my blade were exactly square, 90 degrees. So, so this is my um, planer, my thickness planer. It's a 12 inch or 12 and a half. Uh, DeWalt, I think it's a DW733, 
I bought this used off of Kijiji here in Canada, so that's similar to Craigslist. I think I paid uh, 200 or something, somewhere around there. Move a lot of material through it. Um, you can see that I was doing some cutting and it kept uh, filling up my the hose of my um, dust collector. So I unplugged it and now I have a mess to clean up. But it works pretty well. I just sharpened the knives on it so it's uh, cutting pretty nice. Um, it's sitting on an air purifier, a DIY air purifier. I've got a furnace um, blower motor inside. So it draws air in on that side. And it comes out on that side. Probably don't need two filters, but uh, I figured why not. It uh, And that little ribbon there just lets me see if the uh, filters are getting plugged or not. I also uh, put my sandpaper discs on this side and normally my belts go on these but uh, I broke two of them. I banged a piece of wood into it and broke them. But a uh, nice little cart rolls around pretty easy. <coughs> so this is my jointer. It's a King 6 inch jointer. Uh, works really well. Um, it saves me a lot of money buying a uh, rough cut versus um, flat on two sides or dressed on two sides or any of that um, the price difference is at least three four times the price if you were to go to Home Depot and buy a length of maple versus me buying the rough and spending 15 minutes to clean it all up so um, it's a big times um, not a time saver but a really big money saver um, all those chips will go back into the chicken coop so now I get free uh, bedding which I change often enough, so that's uh, kind of a bonus. And uh, it also goes into the compost and uh, fills in holes on my trails where uh, I'm hoping to get uh, a bit of a trail for my son's four-wheeler. So there's my dust collector. It's just a king as well. It's a one horsepower with a bag. I've put a different bag on. It's a bigger bag with a clear plastic so I can see when it's full, except I've turned it the wrong way. And then I've got four inch line strung up on the ceiling and then it goes to a two inch and then it comes down and then this hose I can connect to uh, whatever I want. I'm going to get rid of that two inch and I'm going to add another 20 feet of four inch in total and that'll allow me to do a better job of um, pulling the chips out of the um, thickness planer and then I'll just rig up a little um, adapter so I can go to the two inch to connect to my table saw as well as my miter saw. So that's kind of it as far as uh, shop tools go. I've got you know hand saws and uh, skill saws, jig saws, lots of different sanders, um, hand planes, chisels, um, shop vacs. I have a shop vac, a rigid shop vac or a rigid vacuum I guess it's not a shop vac. Um, dedicated just for my palm sander, my, my new DeWalt orbital sander. Uh, that makes a big difference if you can control your sanding dust. It'll eliminate a lot of dust in your shop. Um, I had no idea just how bad it was until I started using it. <clears throat> what I did was I opened up my doors, I blew everything off, and I tried to get as much dust out. And then I started using my vacuum and... I probably did that a week or two ago and there's a lot less dust in here. It's still very dusty but uh, it's not as bad. I've got a fan here in the window so when I notice the dust is getting bad I'll open the window up and blow the dust out. I try to make sure that my air cleaner is uh, always going. I've got a box of uh, dust masks so anytime I'm sanding I'm always wearing a dust mask. Um, Try to wear my safety glasses as much as I can. Um, sometimes it's a bad habit just to grab something and cut it and then uh, not put them on. But that's why I try and keep them on my head so that there's no reason not to. Always have a pair of earmuffs kicking around. Especially when I'm going to do um, quite a bit of cutting with the jointer or the planer. They kind of annoy me after a while. Um, got a wood stove in the corner. Burn... Uh, mostly scraps from all of that maple that I got for next to nothing. Um, 
yeah, that's kind of it. Um, come spring, I'm going to do a big cleanup in here. Uh, you can see that I've got a riding lawnmower right here. Son's four-wheelers in behind. A bunch of trapping stuff in that corner. There's a bunch of uh, brewing and maple syrup stuff up top on the shelf. Um, tools in the corner. My toolbox came back, so got a toolbox in the corner. Corner. Also a chicken crate or a dog crate, I guess. But the chickens had pecked each other, and uh, there was a couple that were bleeding. And uh, chickens are pretty nasty, so they'll continue to peck at each other until uh, they're dead. That's uh, <laughs> they're not the nicest of animals, so. My smoker, my Bradley smoker. So come spring when I can get into the shed and really organize some stuff, a lot of stuff's going to come out of here. Um, just make a bit more room. I'd like to get a bandsaw come spring. Um, probably something fairly big, like a 14 inch maybe. Something that I can uh, resaw. When you take rough cut like that and you want thinner pieces, you waste a ton. Um, planing them down um, if they're not too tall like three or four inches I'll I'll um, rip them with the table saw um, I'm not a big fan of doing that but uh, got to do what you got to do so just working on some maple end grain cutting boards like I said one will be up on the site I think it's uh, about 12 by 16 and it's about an inch and a half thick so that'll be a nice board <coughs> but uh, yeah that's it so cheers guys and I appreciate the support again. Sorry for uh, no fancy outdoor videos. I uh, kind of wrecked the clutch I think on my snow machine. I got really stuck or the belt. I'm not sure. I haven't had time to look at it. So um, it's kind of really rough running. It's definitely not the motor. So haven't really been out uh, even skidooing. I just take the dog out uh, every couple days. Oh, sorry about the light. Take her for a quick walk. But I've been stuck in here for, uh, I'm usually out here by 7, 7.30. I go in around 4 to make supper for the wife and kids. And then I come back out for a couple hours. So I'm putting in at least 10 hours. But uh, having fun. So be sure to check out uh, my webpage, inthesticks.com. Um, like I said, I'm doing uh, free shipping anywhere in North America uh, for the next week. First uh, six boards sold. I'm going to enter your name into a hat. And uh, whoever wins is going to get a free serving board. So appreciate it. And uh, one of these days we're going to get back outside. So cheers guys and uh, have a good one.